Chris Turk. My pronouns are he, him, his. Um, best way you can support your community is really getting out there and using your voice. Um, I know me personally, I love to, you know, whether it's spreading on Instagram, you know, imagery of the gay community, educating people, even my family who's not really known that much about the gay community, especially today. And personally, I actually, you know, tried to donate as much of my time to the community, giving back, and also my swim line, Chris Turk Swim, actually gives back a percentage of the proceeds to the LGBT community itself. Uh, typical Pride celebration. I don't know if you could ever call one year a typical Pride celebration because every year is different, especially with the way the world's going right now, and every year is a different celebration. I think my most important quality of a Pride celebration is being around the people that I love the most, and I can be as most, the most exuberant personality possible, dance, throw glitter everywhere, just constantly always having fun and just enjoying the moment and enjoying just loving each other and spreading that love. So, I mean, I don't like to define my style as anything specific. I really like to be as eclectic as possible and bring in color, bring in like crop tops or mesh or any kind of fabric. And honestly, I, I, I saw this kind of mesh usually isn't my thing, but once I put on the full outfit to like put all of the pieces together, I actually felt almost like a superhero in a way, like a gay superhero. And it felt like it felt great. I felt like I wanted to look in the mirror. I wanted to dance around in it, and I felt like this is definitely something I would wear for this pride. My personal journey—it's um, been tough, um, and I think that people need to understand that it can be really tough for a while. Uh, coming out to your family can be tough, but you have to remember at the end of the day, if you know your family doesn't love you, you'll find a family that does love you, whether it's in the within your friends, within the gay community. Um, I know for me it was very hard to come out to my, one of my parents, uh, especially growing up in a very Catholic Christian home, uh, Irish Catholic. It was kind of looked down on as a sin and it's still, there still is a struggle with talking about you know, politics in my family. Um, and you kind of have to learn to block those things. You kind of have to kind of learn to love yourself for who you are and not really listen to those things anymore. The more you accept yourself for who you are and start dressing or being your person, the more you will feel incredible and it will block out all of those awful, awful moments in your life. A moment where I felt completely myself, um, I have to say, is the year that, as I get emotional, um, the year that uh, marriage was made legal, I was actually in New York for the parade and it happened like at the same exact moment and to see the cops and the firemen and all these wonderful people walking down the street just cheering with such joy and being able to finally feel like I could be myself and I could marry who I wanted and love who I wanted to love. Nothing will take that, that memory away from me and from there on I just I took that day to be like let's be the best version of myself and love people and not, not give so much hate in the world like there is out there. And, you know, really spread just loving who you are and loving others for who they are too. Own your sexy. Um, it starts at the beginning of the day. I have days where I wake up and I'm like, God, I look awful, but there's those days that you have to just kind of be like, forget it. Forget everything and just kind of look in the mirror and dress for how you want to dress. Stop listening. I, I had so many moments where I put on a necklace or put on a top or a crop top or and I think like, oh, my mom's gonna think this way, my sister's gonna think this way, and you know, dress for you. Dress for how you wanna feel beautiful, how you wanna feel sexy, how you want to feel like you're gonna walk out of that door and own the world that day. And, the, and when you do act that way, you will in fact own the world. Uh, one thing that I would like to express to people seeing this campaign is to love. I know it's said a million one times, but love yourself, love the people around you, and don't look to pick people apart. Look to love their flaws, love every moment of them, love their hair color, their haircut, their top, their top they're wearing, and just learn to love the people you're around. And don't 
be afraid to tell them you love them. At the end of the day, the most important thing is sharing that love and making it known because you don't know when your last day will be and you know, people deserve love. Hey YouTube, it's Phoenix. If we left you satisfied, prove it by checking out our channel and don't forget to subscribe.